What if we want to find the maximum height that a projectile goes? Or the maximum distance? So, projectiles launched, initial velocity, angle, flies through the air, lands. So let's say this distance is D. D is the range. We're going to be working out some shortcut formulas. And then H is the height of the peak. So these shortcuts that we're working out are going to be valid for if a projectile starts and ends on the ground. So first one, find the max height. Well, we can use the y equation. We know that the max height from the y equation will have vy at h minus vy initial equals negative 2 g times h minus 0. Because we want to know to the top from the bottom. But what's the velocity at the top? 0. And what's the velocity at the bottom? Well, in the y direction, it is the initial sine theta equals 2 g h. I'm sorry, these should actually be squared. So then if we solve for h, the initial squared sine squared theta over 2g equals h. So this is the peak. Now if we want to find the maximum distance that it goes, It starts here, ends here. We want to know how far does it go. So for that, we'll need to use the x equation. So in the x direction, we have d. So x at the end is going to equal the initial cosine theta times time say this is time to d. And then in the y, we know that the height at the end is 0. So we will have 0 equals the initial sine theta times t minus 1 half g t squared. So in here, we need to get d. But in order to get d, we have to know t. So we solve for, for t from the y equation, plug it in, and find d in terms of v initial and theta and g. So let's get t from this equation. We can get t equals d over the initial cos theta. And then if we go and plug that into here, then one thing we can do here right off the bat is we see there's t, a t, there's nothing over here, so we can get rid of that. 
So we have zero equals the initial sine theta minus one half g d over the initial cos theta. So then we need to move this to the other side and we'll get g d over 2 the initial cos theta equals the initial sine theta d times g equals the initial squared times 2 sine theta cos theta. But this right here is a trig identity. Sine of 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cos theta. So substitute that back in. Divide by g, we get d equals the initial squared sine of 2 theta over g. This is max distance. And it is known as the range equation. So you can use these two shortcut equations if, if the question asks, you know, how high did something go? How far did something go? But just keep in mind that they are for when the projectile launches and lands at the same height.